My name is Kevin Cabrera. I'm the executive director here at the Heritage Museum of Orange County. Um, we are here to celebrate Read for the Record with a Jumpstart. Um, we also have Mitchell students coming and we have uh, Madison students coming today. So we've been partnering with Jumpstart for about the last five years to hold uh, their JFAT event, their um, Jumpstart for a Day. And um, the last few years, we've had the Read for the Record here for the students. So they get to come enjoy the museum for a few hours and they get uh, a, a book read to them. For our bears, if you notice the bears that we had over here, they're missing. I wonder where they went. So if you'd like to go on a bear hunt all together, you can do that. Or if you haven't made your bear ears, you can do that as well. Or we have some puppets, or you can even pack your own lunch to make sure that the bear's not going to eat it. And you can pack your very own lunch. Maybe not any sandwiches, though. Literacy is all about uh, being exposed to language, about uh, being exposed to words. And, you know, kids will acquire language and do better in school when they are hearing words read to them, when they are able to interact with textbooks, when they are able to see that reading is a valued, a valued importance. And so it's just really important that we model for them, that we show them that reading is fun, and that what um, experiences that they can open themselves up to if they open a book. So it's really important. And how are you? Uh, how are you looking forward to getting to read to our students today? Well, I've never read the story. The bear ate my sandwich, and so I'm just really excited to get to the end of the book and see what the story, what story unfolds, and to see the excitement in the kids' faces as we get there together. Run down the road. Run down the road. Open up the door, squeeze. Let's go on a bear hunt. Are you afraid? I am not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm John Harmon. I'm with Jumpstart at UCI. Um, I've been here nine years now. Um, love this program. We've managed to partner with uh, Santa Ana Unified and the Heritage Museum for the last five years, putting on uh, Jumpstart for a Day the last two years for Read for the Record, this event. It's a great opportunity to make uh, bring awareness about reading, the importance of reading for children. All these kids will get a free book, uh, The Bear Eat Your Sandwich, and it's just a great way to get the kids out and experience this beautiful place, which uh, the Heritage Museum of Orange County. Uh, love doing what I do and I love having our partnership with Santa Ana Unified. Hi, my name is Maddie. I'm one of the site managers here at Jumpstart at UCI. And to put this all together, what we did is we got all of our core members to help out. So we have about 100 that we work with. And specifically, 24 of our Tuesday, Thursday team uh, came here. And it took a few weeks of planning. And we had all of them work together one night to cut out all the materials. It took us a couple of hours to get that done. But it was, it was wonderful to see them all work together. Yeah, so when I was in college, I was in Jumpstart. I went to college back east in Boston and um, it was life-changing for me it really helped me find my path in early childhood education and the importance of that and I think that being able to come here home um, in Orange County my mom was born and raised in Santa Ana and to serve the community that she grew up in and that I have a strong basin is is just um, amazing and seeing the smiles on the kids faces um, is really why I do what I do Ma Maria Garcia ¿Y por qué le gusta estar este programa aquí? Pues me gusta porque para que vengan los niños para que conozcan más y para motivarlo y para que aprendan a, a dibujar, colorear. Mi nombre es Verónica y me gusta porque están aprendiendo a leer, a, a ver los significados de cada cosa, acomodar cada cosa en lo que va de las maletas. Están aprendiendo muchas cosas interesantes a, y a relacionarse con más niños también. 
Mi nombre es Perla Llamas, este, somos de la Escuela Madison. Eh, estamos muy agradecidos por este evento que nos invitaron para que los niños conozcan sobre más actividades que hay alrededor y conocer estos bellos lugares que tiene el condado de Orange. Este, me parece una buena idea que, que los niños sepan y participen con otros niños de otras escuelas también y es un evento muy bonito, a mí me gusta, me gusta mucho y muchísimas gracias por la invitación. Gracias. Hi, my name is Mark Bayo. I'm the principal of Mitchell Child Development Center. And we just did a reading with uh, Dr. Phillips in regards to the bear that ate your sandwich. And the wonderful thing about what we did here today is our collaboration and our use of community resources, which is the Heritage Museum and the Jumpstart folks from UCI, in addition to the fact that we actually got to sit down and read a book, hold a book and turn the pages and move away from the digital world. And that's one of the things that I think is disappearing in the world today. And so we want to make sure that our kids get that opportunity. Hope you enjoyed it. Good morning, friends. How are you? Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, <laughs> Good morning parents and, 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 and supporters, too. <laughs> Can you all hear okay back there? Louder. Bit. How about now? Is that better? Good. So this morning I have a story for you. It's called, The Bear Ate My Sandwich. Or, I'm sorry, did I say that wrong? The Bear Ate Your Sandwich. You see the bear? Yeah, he looks like he's pretty hungry, right? Well, let's see what the author has to say about the bear eating your sandwich. So the author of this story is Julia Sarcone Roach. That means when you're an author, that means you're the person who wrote the story. So she thought of the story, she wrote it down, and then somebody drew all the pictures for the story. So that's how story writing happens. So here we go. By now, I think you know what happened to your sandwich, but you may not know how it happened. So let me tell you. The morning air was warm and bright when the bear stepped out of his den. He stretched and sniffed. He sniffed. He did just like that. The scent of ripe berries drifted toward him and led to a wonderful discovery. You know what a discovery is? A discovery is when you find something new. <laughs> After a berry feast, the bear curled up in the sunlight and listen to the buzzing of the bees. Bzzz. Can you buzz like a bee? Bzzz. Before long, he was asleep. I guess the buzzing really made him sleepy. Does buzzing make you sleepy? No, not so much. By the time the bear opened his eyes, the buzzing had become a rumbling. How do you rumble? Is that a rumbling? <laughs> he was being quickly he was being quickly swept along like a leaf in the green river. The forest had disappeared in the distance and high cliffs rose around him. So he was in a very different place.
Once the rumbling stopped, the bear found himself in a new forest. He had a new home. He was in a new place. How many of you have found yourself in a new place from where you started out this morning? Anybody in a different place this morning? I am. I, I'm not near my bed anymore. <laughs> it was like nothing he had ever seen before. It was brand new. This forest had many great climbing spots. Do you like to climb? You like to climb? So if you went to the forest, would you, would you find some places where you could climb? Yeah, me too. There was good bark for scratching. Do you think a bear might like to scratch? Think his fur might get itchy? I think so. So he was looking for some place to scratch his fur. And the mud squished nicely under his feet. <laughs> no mud on your feet? <laughs> okay. There were many interesting smells in this forest. So he was sniffing around and he was smelling new things. But some of the tastiest ones had already been found. Leafy green smells led the bear to new fun. So what do you think that means? Do you think that means he was smelling food? Yeah. And he was, he was following the smell of the food, maybe? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. He got hungry. He got hungry. And that was when he saw it. What, what do you think he saw? A sandwich. A sandwich. Let's see. There it was, your beautiful and delicious sandwich, all alone. Did you leave your sandwich by itself? You left it for the bear? <laughs> he waited to make sure no one saw him. Not even the sandwich saw him before he made his move. He snuck up on the sandwich. He liked the sandwich, yeah. He didn't want the sandwich to run away. <laughs> it was such a great sandwich, the bear loved it. What, do you, what kind of sandwich do you think it was? Peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly? Maybe so. But it was, but just as he was almost finished, he heard sniff, snuffle, slobber, snort behind him. Yeah. Sounds like an animal, doesn't it? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> he had been seen. Someone saw him. What are the, can you see this? Are they dogs? Oh, looks like dogs. The bear was, was so surprised that he ran out of the park, down the street, until he spotted a very tall tree. Yeah, he never got to the dog sandwich. <laughs> From the top of the tree, the bear could see his forest. It was time to go home. The waves rocked the bear and he began to doze. He misses his home, now he's going back, right? So he's falling asleep because he began to doze off because the waves made him doze. When he opened his eyes, he heard the breeze in familiar branches and the birds and bugs evening song. So he was very familiar with those sounds. Well, the bear had made it home just fine. So that's what happened to your sandwich. The bear ate it. Does that explain the story? So now you know what happened. I saw it all. I tried to save your sandwich. I was able to save this little bit of lettuce right here. The bear dropped it as he ran off. But I couldn't save the rest. 
I'm sorry to have to tell you about your, sa your sandwich this way. But now you know. Roof, 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 roof. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the Bear Ate Your Sandwich as much as we did. That's the end. <laughs> the bear ate the sandwich and so the bear got hungry. My name is Doreen Lonis, Assistant Superintendent, Special Education SELPA, and literacy is a significantly most important thing for our students because it opens the door to the world. It's a skill that they will need for everything they do. It enriches their life and it opens up experiences that they might never have and makes for a richer opportunity. So it starts here in preschool. Keely Orlando, the Early Childhood Education Director for Santa Ana Unified School District. And today is an exciting day for us because our annual event, Jumpstart, um, in collaboration um, with, excuse me, our annual event um, in collaboration with Jumpstart, um, presents an opportunity for early literacy activities for our children and gets our youngest readers reading at an early age.